Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have successfully survived the Horde Knight. If you did not catch the last episode, um, the Horde Knight basically snuck up on me. I completely lost track of time and <laughs> realized that it was upon us, and I wasn't ready for it. So I decided to sit this one out, um, but we still, you know, I, I still sat it out here on our actual horde base building and the building held up. I, you know, I heard a few blocks breaking here and there. Some, some glass broke every now and then. Um, but there, there was no, no collapses that I, you know, that I detected here on our building. I did have to fight off some vultures, which was to be expected. But, and when I came up here, there were a few sleepers that had repopped. So I killed them. But otherwise, um, didn't really do a whole lot more. There was a few things up on the roof here that I salvaged while I was waiting. But uh, we had a, a successful horde night in terms of not dying, which is always a good thing. All right, so um, there might still be some Zeeks downstairs. Let's grab all of that. That's going to make us too heavy to move. Okay. So let's see, it's these three th things here that are making us real heavy. Uh, what if we dump those off, some of this less important stuff? Well, actually, no. You know what? I'm, I'm going to keep this stuff here for now. And um, yeah, there are zombies down there. Okay. So let's see if we can deal with these Zeeks. They're just going to be the Zeeks that are left over from the Horde Knight. Well, the cop handled some of them for us. Let's get down a little closer so we have better range on our shotgun here. And we'll also, you know, take a look at the building and see what kind of damage it has. Trying to get Edgar's foot there. All right, let's just... Um, Pop down and get out of here. Yeah, we can't really we can't really tell how damaged it is until we clear the those zombies out of there. Did they stop chasing me? Did those other ones despawn or just get out of render distance? They might have despawned. Still hear a few footprints. Or footsteps, I mean. <laughs> you can't hear footprints. 
Bet you can hear footsteps. Okay, there's a few down there. Looks like they might be stuck. me. Okay, I think that's it. Alright, so let's just assess the building damage. They obviously took out some of those central pillars and did a little bit of work out here, but by and large, the building's actually in really good shape. I was surprised, man. I was expecting this building to be quite a bit more damaged than this. But that's a good thing. It's in really good shape. Okay, cool. All right, well, I won't do that again, uh, at least not on purpose. Um, like I said, it just kinda, it's just kind of the way that it turned out. So... I'm not sure if we'll come back here for the next Horde night and try it one more time. We probably will, but we'll see. Uh, but one way or the other, we will definitely fight the Horde the next time. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get uh, get back to the base. I got a bunch of crap to put away. And then, um, you know, once I, I get everything put away and we get all situated, uh, we'll see if we have enough material. Oh, yeah. See, now I am too heavy. Okay. Uh, we'll see if we have enough material to do our... I, I think I want to do the furnace upgrade first. So I will see you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I got everything situated. So we're going to do a couple things around the base, and then we're probably going to go out and hit the traders again uh, and maybe even do some more questing a little bit later on. Uh, reason being is because we still don't have everything we need to upgrade our furnace. Uh, we have enough research data. We need a few more books, and we need more military fiber. Now, one thing I wanted to do is let's take a, a military armor item. If we if we um, recycle it in here, let's grab all of that stuff. Does it give us fiber here if it doesn't at least we'll know for next time it does okay good 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 okay uh, in that case even though you know this is worth a lot of money I think right now I would rather have the the fibers and I've already gone through everything and and all of the military armor that I have back in the room there is is better than these anyways are we just going to get one fiber from each piece though yeah it looks that way well okay well that's two more fibers towards what we need so not a bad deal all things considered let's put all that stuff in there we'll put all this stuff in here metal can go in here and wood in here uh, but as you can see um I had, well, I guess you couldn't see that, but I put those TVs and laptops that we looted in the last episode in there, and we do no, uh, we no longer get research data uh, from doing that, which frankly kind of sucks, but it is what it is, I suppose. I put that other gun rack in here that we looted from uh, the, the clothing store. Um, so now we have both types of gun racks here. I, uh, all the All my guns are still in here, but when um, we run out of room in here. Maybe what, you know what we could do actually? Why don't we put handguns? Yeah, we'll put we'll put uh, handguns in one and everything else, I guess, in, in, a, in the other, since we seem to have quite a few handguns. 
And at some point, we'll probably, you know, spec into that and, and start using the handguns a little bit more. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I've got a full set now of military armor, but, but that's all I've got. And... We might uh, we might do a respec at some point and do you know do a stealth build. So I don't want to I don't want to melt all of those down. So we're just gonna have to keep looking for more military fiber. It's kind of too bad, you know, that we didn't do the horde night because we would have gotten some most likely from the drops on that. But just kind of the way it worked out. So let's put this in here. All right, we have a full water pump. Um, so let's go ahead and grab some of these and. Fill those up. And we're going to cook these and turn them into fresh water. I need some fuel over here. And then those will turn into mineral water. Um, so let's grab some fuel bricks, I suppose. That's what we want. All right, so that's going to take eight minutes. There we go. Good. We got that going. Now, uh, how much chrysanthemum do I have? I have 36 in there. But I also have... I should have some in here, too. Or, I'm sorry, goldenrod. Yeah, goldenrod, and we got a bunch of chrysanthemum. I really sh need to plant, start planting more of those, too. But it's on the to-do list, you know, like so many other things are. All right, so I think I think we're good. Um, let's get all this stuff that we have to sell uh, repaired up. Can I hold all of that? Yeah, it looks like it. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll go sell this, make a little more money, and then hopefully, I, I don't know if the traders sell military fiber or not. Again, it's just one of those things I never really paid much attention to. Uh, but they have reset since the last time we checked them. So we'll sell all of this stuff, make a little more money, see if we can buy what we need. And, okay, we're out of steel for that. That probably needs steel too, right? All right, you, and we're out of iron. We've got that steel and iron back at the, the horde base, but I kind of want to keep that stuff there. Yeah, it, it definitely is going to be worth it to repair these. So anything I can't fully repair, we're just going to save for now. What does that require for repairing? Oh, okay, sticks. That's easy enough. We can handle that. Um, we could actually repair the iron stuff um, because I've got quite a bit of scrap iron that we could turn into ingots. 94. Let's do 80 because I want to hang on to... Um, no, actually here, we're going to do 30 in here, and we'll do 50 in here, because this one's faster, it's got the bellows. Okay, and then we'll turn those into plates, and then we'll repair the other items that we can repair with the iron. So I'm going to get that done, I will meet you guys over at the trader, we'll take another uh, quest from them too. And we'll sell what we can, and hopefully they will have some military fiber for sale. If not, then, you know, we'll just have to keep looting. So I'll see you guys at the trader in just a little bit. All right, guys. Well, howdy do, friend. Howdy do. Let's, ah, oh, shoot. Greetings. You know what? I took off without my sugar butts. We happen to have one right there. I'm going to hold off on the rest of that stuff. And I also took off without my... Daggone pumpkin cheesecake thingy, too. All right. Take a look at your inventory, and we're going to sell first. We're currently at 5,300 uh, and some odd coin there. 
I did end up making some more uh, steel so I could repair some of these other things. So anything we have more than one of, except for the wire tools, I want to sell the more valuable one first, otherwise the rest of it doesn't matter. Training skills improved to level 40. Nice. No, we don't want to sell that. Okay, that gets us up to 27,000. Um, so we do know how to make military fiber, apparently. Because that's grayed out. Why, are, why aren't we doing that? Oh, because we need the, the tier 3 station. That's right. Okay. That's why we're not doing it. Okay. I, I, just, <laughs> I couldn't remember for a second there. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is worth buying for research data, but let's hold off on that first because if they do have military fiber, I want to buy that first. Or... Yeah, that's going to be expensive, though. I mean, these aren't terribly expensive for one piece of military fiber. There's the SMG schematic. What's that? Oh, a scrap sledge? No, we don't care about that. So there is some research data stuff we could buy there. Let's see what he's got. Nothing good there. Again, some things we could buy to make research data. Those are pretty dang expensive. However, that would be one, two. Yes. Um, three, four more fibers. I... All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Time, happy travel, survivor. We're going to... We're going to know that we can get four more fibers from these two guys, but I'm not going to spend the money on it yet because we might come across um, one of the traders that are actually selling the fibers. Hey, while we're here, let's take another job from this guy, too. I don't know if we're going to get to it in this episode, but at least we'll take it so we have it. Okay, restore power at Butcher Pete's, clear Zelic restaurant, restore power at Modern House, clear old Mansard House, restore... I don't want to do the restore powers. Let's do this... Old Mansard House one. Task for you, friend. Great. I look forward. That's gonna just be a clear. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna hit the other traders first, so I will see you at the next trader. All right, let's check these guys. What do you need? What do you need? LCR 12 machine gun. All right, don't see anything in there that we need. Hey, what's that? How come it's yellow? What does that mean? I don't know. Um, okay, let's go here. Okay, that would be worth buying. That would be worth buying for research data. Uh, but I don't see anything... Okay. Uh, for military fiber. Let's go check Trader Hugh. Looking for something special? Okay, so we could we could do more military fiber with that. And man, they all have the schematics. It's not doing us any good without we need two beakers. We can make more military fiber with these, but that's going to be really expensive because of the, of their level. Um, all right, well, here, let's do this then. If it's uh, if it's an H level, I'm just going to buy it. Because we know we can recycle that down into a one piece of military fiber. I guess you're not so bad after Yeah, all. yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go hit the next trader. Okay, what do you have? Ooh, you have a DH-800. It's only 480,000 dukes. <laughs> and the mining dump truck is over is 1.4 million bad oh man that's expensive uh what's this oh a quad bike that's cool that's 48,000 dukes um interesting stuff okay we'll have to mess with all that later i don't see anything in here for military fiber secret stash 
Um, those are white levels, so too expensive really for us to buy unless we absolutely had to. A titanium shovel. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Expensive, though. We'll eventually probably really? come across that in loot. All right. Let's see. That's way too expensive to buy outright. That's a SWAT helmet. A steel greatsword. He's got a quad, too. Is that, um, yeah, that's more expensive than the motorcycle. Okay, he doesn't have anything, really, here that we want. An adju uh, adjudicator machine gun. What does it fire? 762s. That's neat. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking out some of these um, new weapons. This is uh, kind of like a, a Dragunov sniper rifle, it looks like. Not exactly, but sort of kind of in that same vein. There's a nail gun for sale. See you later. See you later. Okay, you guys don't really have what we need. Uh, what are we doing? We're going this way. See you, suckers. Okay, let's hit the next trader. Don't look so good. You might you want to get some antibiotics for that. Don't look so good either. Okay, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Lots of uh, schematics that we could get for research data. No military fiber and no military gear. And no beakers. All right, Jen. It's too bad I couldn't help you. Yeah, I know it is. Oh, You're yeah. absolutely right. Absolutely How right. How can I help you? Okay, what do you have? An enforcer belt. I think we already have that. There's more backpack space. Ah, oh, shoot. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing that we need. Well, that's not true. I mean, we could get some of those things, but... I understand. Not what we're looking for. All right. Well, we know... We know that our trader back home has four pieces that we can buy. So, you know, we got that going for us. I'm trying to decide if I want to run all the way over across the map to the other three traders. I suppose eh, we're going to run out of time. Now, let's do this. Let's go back to our hometown trader and get the military fiber or the military gear from him. And then we'll go back to the base. We'll scrap it and see if we have enough. I think I needed a total of eight pieces. Um, but I don't remember... We may have gotten a couple more pieces since we needed those eight. I don't remember. So anyway, um, I'm going to, I'll see you back at the original trader. Okay, let's go back to here. And we want to buy from you these. Uh, that's a little more money. I think you can. I want to spend, I think. But he, uh, didn't this guy have something too? Yes. Yeah, that's going to be really expensive if we, if we buy that. I'll, awesome. I don't think we should do that. I don't think we should buy anything that's not a, the lowest level because it's just going to be so expensive since we don't really have a whole lot of money at the moment. Okay, well, um... Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. I guess what we'll do is we'll go back to the base and we'll just see where we're at with the military fiber. All right. Let's put um, these three pieces in here. I need to go turn on the generator. And we got 49 things of mineral water, which is fantastic. Let's put half of those in there. And I'm actually going to take some more gasoline up to the Jenny, too. Let's empty this out into here. Then I'm going to grab 
several cans of gas. All right, and then we'll get the generator going. It's got some gas in it, but I'm starting to turn it off now because it really it burns through the gas it pretty quickly. Well, at least it seems like it does. I don't know if it's actually any quicker than it used to be, but why didn't I not pick those golden rods? Don't know. I don't know why I do some of the things I do, or in this case, don't do. Okay, let's turn that on. And we'll make more fuel. Uh, okay, so that gives us three more military fiber. That gets us up to 17. So we're three... Uh, three fiber shy of being able to... Those don't go in there, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My goodness. Um, three fiber shy of being able to do that upgrade. I think we have everything else we need. Well, no, we're going to need to make 50 steel, too, so which means i got to go do some mining. But that's, you know, that's a lot easier to accomplish. We'll put these down in here. At some point, we might want to start looking at some of the kite and stuff, but I'm, right now I'm just kind of accumulating it as we kill scorpions. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode then. Um, it's too late, really, for us to go out and do anything else. So I'm just going to kind of futz around the base here a little bit. And what I might do is I might take a day off, an in-game day off, and just go do a bunch of mining to replenish all of that. And then in the next episode, we'll probably go out and do this next quest and continue looking for military fiber. we got to get those three more pieces. Then we can get this upgraded, and then we can once again start smelting our titanium. And then the next thing will be to get this upgraded so that we can process the titanium do something with it uh, but this one will be easier for us to upgrade than this because this doesn't require um anything you know th that's hard for us to get so yeah that's the plan all right thank you everybody for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye